All right, I'd like to welcome my next guest to the show. His name is Damian Speranza. How are we doing, Damian? Good, man. Thanks for having me on. Oh, dude, my pleasure. And did I get the last name right? I know we went to high school together, but it's been a while. <laughs> yeah, you made it real ethnic, so it works. It's good. <laughs> when so did you jump into this new venture in your life into stand-up? Oh, uh, so actually, what are we in? June right now. So I would say uh, about a year ago, I just I got ago. involved into it. Yeah. So yeah. that's what I was getting to. So I always knew Damien. Kind of, and, and so I know friends of his who he had a funny side to him, a, a less serious side. But I think I always saw like the student Damien and, and the more serious guy. So when I heard you were into stand yeah. I'm like, this is cool. This is a, maybe a side I haven't seen before. Yeah, I got, uh, what is it? Fucking resting bitch face, but for dudes. Like when I'm <laughs> just sitting there being serious. Right. So people, people tend to think uh, I'm quiet when they first see me, which is weird because I talk a lot. So I don't, I don't really get it. So also um, what Damien does, so he's starting this new uh, thing with stand-up, and I was kind of watching his uh, career start to build. He was getting uh, more time uh, in the room. He was getting bigger rooms. Uh, he was starting to build traction. And yeah, it was kind of impressive to me because as far as I know, you travel in from Connecticut to New York to do these shows, correct? Yeah, so how it started was, uh, so I've always wanted to do it, kind of like you with the podcast. There's always something I thought about wanting to do. Right. Uh, but uh, I always had this fear, like, so obviously, like you, I'm from Jersey, but I live in Connecticut, and I went to college in Connecticut. Um, right. After I graduated, I never went back to Jersey. So my, one of my biggest focuses was always trying to work and make sure that I had enough money to take care of myself so I didn't have to go back. There you um, go. So I always put this like dream of wanting to do stand up on the back burner until I knew I was secure enough to not worry about, you know, where I was going to live or how I was going to eat or anything like that. Uh, and then as I got further along, um, I got married, I had kids, and then it seemed like it'd be more difficult to do. Right. Uh, but then one of my, my buddies that I did uh, bounty hunting with, it's another thing, part of my life. But, uh, he was a bounty hunter too, guy. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, one of the guys that did that with started doing it, uh, and he told me I should come down with him, and I gave it a shot. And uh, been driving down to New York until the Corona thing, like every week. Me having uh, ball cancer <laughs> and uh, losing one of my balls, and then after that happened, for extra because you can't do shit after they take one of your nuts, you don't think it's a big loss, but you actually yeah. can't do anything for like six weeks. So, so you, just, you just fucked me all up here because you said you went up there and talked about your ball cancer and I laughed because I thought you were making a joke about having ball cancer, but you actually did have it. I did. I stand here. I'll sit here before you with one less testicle. Yes. That's wow. Great. But you look like you have three. So that's good. <laughs> I get reminded about that at the firehouse all the time. Yeah. Uh, look at my balls. Uh, dude, you have one ball. Cut it out. 100% happens. When I tell them to stop breaking my balls, that's exactly what they say. You mean that's ball, right? So like funny. every time. My very second time doing stand up was closer to where I live in Killingworth. And uh, it was a contest and I didn't know it was a contest. I just was like, fuck it, I, I'll get back on the mic. Nice. Uh, and I ended up winning. And yeah, except it sounded good in theory, but the prize was you got to come back next month with 20 minutes. Oh, wow. That's a big yeah. thing. Yeah, and I only had like three to five minutes, and, and some of that's just me joking around with the crowd because I could talk to people. Right. Uh, so, new, yeah, so I went back a month later. I fucking bomb. Yeah. Wow, was, that takes balls. I, that takes balls to do that. Or ball, yeah. <laughs> it takes a ball to do. Yeah, it takes a ball. See how often that shit comes up? That's Every great, fucking yeah. day. Oh, my gosh. Dude, that might have been like light, you might have never gone up again. You might have made the best decision of your life right there. And that yeah, takes a ball like, to do that because to, you know what I'm saying? After, after kind yeah. of, you know, doing well and then bombing to go back in and, and kind of, you know, heart on the sleeve type deal takes, takes some guts. Yeah. And it, I mean, the second set, it, the second part of it did fine. I got a couple of laughs, but obviously it was awkward for everybody like that. I walked off and came back and <laughs> they're like this guy um, again, what's he going to do? Hold his hostage for another six minutes. Pretty much <laughs> just stand here, look at us for a while. I don't get it. Yeah. 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 Um, I mean, you pay attention to entertainment, so I'm sure you understand when I say that the urban rooms are definitely harder oh, yeah. to get into. Like, they got no problem telling you to suck a dick. Like, right, they're absolutely. like, you suck, get off the stage. Get off like, the stage. Yeah. Um, so I would go between They're, they're a very honest room. crowd, I, I, I guess we could say. Yeah, that's yeah, a soft way to put it. But yeah, yes, they're very yeah. honest. <laughs> yes. um, and uh, I tore it down. Like, at the yeah. end of the show... Uh, it was me first opening, and then it was like three comedians that had more seasoned after me. Right. And they did longer, 
Uh, and I had some people from the crowd come up to me and be like, man, they should have gave you more time. You were our favorite, blah, blah, blah. How good um, did that feel? And how much is that? Uh, I was hard. I was hard. Yeah, I, was, I had an <laughs> erection the minute he told me that. <laughs> an um, erection. And his one ball yeah, was, was hit the floor. Yeah, it was weird. It was weird. Uh,